marijuana and a knife. That's what one student brought to his local elementary school. News Channel 9's Micaiah Thurman has just gotten back from the McMahon County School. She joins us now with the latest. Micaiah? Yeah, Calvin, it all happened last week when a principal discovered that one student had more than books in his backpack. Now a community is questioning who needs to be held responsible. Weed and a weapon. That's what police say an elementary school student brought into school last week. It's just an awful thing to happen. It's made that young bring something to school like that. Now a community is searching for answers. Well, it don't only put the other kids in danger, it puts him in danger. Because young kids don't realize the danger of what's, you know, what can happen. David McDonald, Riceville Elementary's principal, told police that he called the student to the office after word that the child had a lighter. But during a check, administrators found much more. That's when they called police. You just don't know no more. You just can't tell what's going to happen no more of these kids. McMinn County Officer Guy McGill went to the school the next morning and reported that the principal handed me a large Ziploc baggie that contained one folded knife, one unsmoked marijuana cigarette, and one partially smoked marijuana cigarette. The student claimed that he got the pot from a white Jeep that pulled up to him while he was walking home. The boy said that driver offered him the drugs for $10. While police are still working to verify that story, some believe that parents should be responsible. Kids just don't pick up things like that on their own. Uh, like I said, it must have come out of the home. Others say the boy is old enough to know better. I don't blame the parents, no, uh -uh, not necessarily, because like I said, the kids, you know, they, they, they ain't disciplined like they used to be. We reached out to Riceville Elementary's principal and was told to contact Mickey Blevins. That's the director of McMinn County Schools. We left multiple messages and even went to Blevins' office, but he has yet to respond. Calvin? Thanks, Micaiah.